container is winched up vertically from a point P at a constant rate of 1.5 meters per second. Now this is a container. This is the container C. And that's uh, lifted at the rate of uh, 1.5 meters per second. Okay, so let's try. So that is dH by dt. So dH by dt is given to be uh, 1.5 meters per meters per second. Okay. It is being observed from a point Q. So this is point Q, which is 20 meters horizontal from P. So this is. And theta is the angle of elevation of the container from point Q. So this is the angle, but this is the right angle, and this is the right. This is theta. So the question is: At what rate is the angle of elevation increasing when the object is 20 meters above the point P? Okay. So basically, what they're asking is: When H, okay, let me use a different color. When H is 20 meters, what is D theta by DT? What's the change in angle? That's the question. Okay, so we know DH by DT, and we want to find D theta by DT when the height is 20 meters above the ground. So as you can understand, as this is being uh, pulled up, this angle is going to increase. And that's what they're asking. OK, so how can we do it? So what, can we find a relationship between theta and h? Well, using trigonometry, I can say tan theta is opposite over using Sokatoa with h over 20. So making h the subject, I can say, well, h is 20 tan theta. So now there is a relation between h and theta. So we can differentiate h with respect to theta. OK. So h is related to this angle. So we can say, well, dh by d theta, d theta is going to be 20 in differentiation of tan is 6. So that's going to be 6 squared theta, 6 squared theta. And 6 is the reciprocal of cos, so that is same as 20 divided by cos squared theta, cos squared theta. OK. So now the question is, what is dh by dt? So well, I can say dh by dt is going to be, let's start with dh, so we know that is dh by dh by d theta we know uh, the question is no sorry we want to find d theta by dt sorry so we want to find d theta by dt so we all this is given this is constant so d theta by dt so as a rule of thumb when you start with d theta, you have to have d theta. So I know d theta by dh because I know dh by d theta. And I, so from there I can write d theta by dh times, and if I write a dh here, you'd write dh by dt. Okay. So now this implies from this I can say well, d theta by dh is going to be the reciprocal of this which is cos theta squared divided by 20. I'm going to put that here. So this is going to be cos theta squared divided by 20 times, uh, what is dh by dt? That's 1.5. So now we are in a situation when we we're we need to find what is that theta. So the question is, find the rate of increase, a rate of, find the rate of, ang find the rate 
at what rate is the angle of elevation increasing when the object is 20 meters above the ground. So if this is 20 and this is also 20, what's the angle going to be? Using just use a bit of trig uh, sorry a geometry. This is an isosceles right angle triangle, so this has to be 45. Okay, this has to be 45 or in radians. Of course, we should be writing in radians, which is pi by 4. Okay, so I hope you know the value of uh, pi by 4. So I can say almost done. So d theta by dt is going to be cos pi by 4 or it doesn't matter you can write also 45 so cos 45 squared divided by 20 times 1.5 you can do this on a calculator or if you are doing in the calculator yeah it doesn't matter so let's use a calculator so this cos 45 squared times 1.5 divided by this angle sorry the answer should be in radians because you're differentiated with this with respect to because the di differentiation is only in radians so let's say let's put this in pi by 4 this is pi by 4 okay so if you know the exact value you don't even need a calculator so let's do without a, if you know cos pi by 4 is 1 over root 2 so let's do without a calculator 1 over root 2 squared divided by 20 times 1.5 okay so this is going to be this is going to be 1 over root 2 squared is going to be half half divided by 20 times 1.5 okay so this is going to be uh, okay let me do the working here so this is going to be 0 0.5 times 1.5 divided by 20 so let's use the calculator now so the answer would be in radians per second so it will be 0 0.5 times 1.5 hopefully i'll get the answer divided by 20 which is 0 point yeah that's the answer which is 0 0.0375 radians radians per second so the angle is changing at this rate of 0 0.0375 radians per second. Now this was asked as uh, a question in 2014 NC exam. 2014 NC exam of differentiation.